What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we have a pretty interesting topic to talk about and I haven't really seen anyone else cover this to be fair but for me personally I find it kind of fascinating. So we are going to be talking about the possible end of Roblox noobs. Now yeah I am aware that Roblox noobs just like disappearing and never coming back is impossible. So what I mean by the end of Roblox noobs is many people are getting free items now, free UGC limiteds, free event items, free avatar shop items. So the possibility of customizing your Roblox character is easier than ever. If you think back to Roblox's past, you may remember that everything was pretty expensive. I don't know how long you guys have been playing for, but I've been playing ever since around 2011. It's been a very long time. And I remember joining Roblox games back then and just seeing so many guests and noob avatars. Honestly, Roblox over 10 years ago, it was kind of hard to find somebody that had like a customized avatar because everything on the website was so overpriced apart from like a few ticks items it was pretty difficult to make like a cool creative avatar and obviously there weren't really many accessories back then but now there is absolutely thousands tens of thousands of items loads and loads of free stuff as well so yeah we're going to be checking this out today are there less noobs on roblox now than what there used to be now i just want to say before we get started i know roblox's player base has grown like in insane amounts. So obviously there's still going to be noobs. There's going to be people which sign up and then just join a game straight away without customizing their character. But I feel like that is happening a lot less. Even for me back in 2011, I remember editing my avatar before I even joined a game. I always like to customize characters. I never want to use the default settings. But yeah, let's get into this. So look at this guys. I just want to point out how many free UGC items you can get now. Now I know technically they're still pretty hard to get because obviously people try and snipe them. The demand for the free stuff is insane. But let's say I was a noob anyway. So I had a free avatar and let's say I got very lucky. Well, I would be able to wear all of this free stuff on my avatar. And I just want to show you guys how insane a character looks when you wear like a ton of free limiteds. Yep, it looks like this. So very quickly, my avatar has gone from a complete noob to an avatar which kind of seems rich, even though technically I didn't really have to spend any money on these items. If somebody had happened to show me this like screenshot or footage two years ago, I would have never believed it. The fact my avatar is wearing all of these limiteds and they were free, it's actually kind of insane if you think about it. As I was saying at the start of this video, it's not just limiteds, event items are getting really good as well and really common. So now guys, I want to join a few games that are normally plagued with noobs and I kind of want to see, are they as bad as they used to be? Because as I said, I've been on Roblox for a long time, so I can play the game games which used to be filled with noobs and we can see if the number of noobs is decreasing. So the first game is Natural Disaster Survival. I'm sure some of you guys expected this. It's kind of known as like a go-to game for noobs if that makes sense. I think because it's advertised quite a lot when people sign up for a new account. So guys if I scroll down and if I go to servers what I used to see was just tons of bacon hairs but I've got to admit recently it's definitely decreasing a bit. Previously guys I would just see these these icons and I would just see them absolutely full of bacon characters. So you can see there's a few there. But off the bat, just looking at all of these servers, I can see it's definitely decreasing. The number of noobs joining these games is definitely getting a bit less. So people are definitely customizing their characters a bit more. Honestly, I think this is a good thing. I remember guys back in like, I don't know, 2012, I used to get sick of the amount of noobs I would run into. Obviously now I wouldn't really care. But back then I was a kid and I always just thought, why is everyone so boring? Why does no one edit their characters? Anyway, let's go and jump into a game. So let's go Natural Disaster Survival, a very iconic Roblox game, which is normally filled with noobs, but I can't really see any noobs around the map. Maybe not that guy. He is wearing a custom face or at least the face he's picked off the catalog. Yeah, from what I can see so far, guys, I don't think there's any like power hair or like uh, chestnut hair. Is it called chestnut? I think some people call it acorn hair or whatever. But from what I can see, guys, I think everyone in this server has actually customized or modified their avatar, which is a common occurrence on Roblox. And this is what I was trying to say in today's video. Mostly, if you join a Roblox game, everyone's avatar is customized. And honestly, being a creative person myself, I think that's awesome. So quickly on to the next game. This one is called Escape the Carnival of Terror Obby. And there's got to be some noobs in here. I think if you use like the iPhone app, this comes up straight away. So let's go and join a server. And yeah, we're probably gonna find at least one. Oh my gosh, guys, is that just 
Jenna, the real Roblox hacker, the scariest hacker. Oh, never mind, she left the game. I like this game though. It's a pretty decent Roblox lobby. It kind of reminds me of uh, Goosebumps Horrorland, if you guys have ever read that book or played the game. I think it was on Wii or something. Anyway, let's see if this server contains any noobs. So what we're going to do, guys, because obviously they're playing the obby, let's go and open up the leaderboard and we can take a quick look. So from what I can see, guys, my first impressions, I think everyone here is mostly edited or customized their character a little bit. If they've only spent like a tiny amount of Robux, you know, that doesn't really matter. That still counts as customized. You know, I'm looking for more like people that just literally made an account and then jumped into a game. So yeah, everyone here, they've customized their character. I was expecting to find one bacon here, but I guess we couldn't find one. Okay, we're not giving up that easily. Jailbreak. We have got to find one inside of Jailbreak. There is no way. So let's just go and join a server. There's got to be one in here. Jailbreak again, an extremely iconic and kind of classic Roblox game. But let's take a look at the leaderboard, seeing as everyone's running around the map. And just looking at it, I can't see any just yet. That guy's definitely edited his character a little bit. But, oh, here we go. Okay, Les. We finally found a bacon hair. Les24 something. I can't be bothered to read that. But as we can see, he literally just made his account. So there you go. We finally found one. But that was more difficult than I expected. Here's the proof, guys. More people are customizing their characters. And a few years ago, I feel like people didn't really care so much. They only played the game. So yeah, interesting for sure. Okay, guys. Seeing as we already found a noob, let's go and play Happy Land. Because this game is always filled with noobs. Look, it even has like an acorn hair in the thumbnail. So when we join this, we're probably going to find loads. Okay, so let's go. I don't know why this game is so popular. It's really odd. It's kind of like a role play game like Brookhaven, but nobody really talks to each other. Every time I've joined this, I've never seen anybody having a conversation. It's a very sort of odd game, but as you can see, most of the people here have customized their characters a little bit. Oh wait, what's that over there? Oh look, he's walking into the glass. Yeah, there you go guys. There's a good old trusty bacon. Let's see what this guy does in the game because I'm curious. So he's getting in an ambulance and he just drives into a brick wall. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, I followed this guy a little bit and he just like spawned in vehicles and then drove in straight lines. I don't know. I guess that's what bacons like to do these days. Very, very interesting. It felt like I was bird watching bacon hairs. So yeah, they should make this like a Roblox nature program or something. They're very strange animals. So there we are, guys. Even if there is more noobs on Roblox, one thing we can confirm is people are definitely customizing their characters more, which does make sense if you think about it. I mean, look at all of this stuff. This was just some of the random free accessories that I got recently. And yeah, there's a lot of random stuff. In the old days of Roblox, sometimes you'd be waiting like several months just to play like a normal Roblox event. And even then you could only claim like one or two prizes. I guess now we're kind of lucky, maybe even spoiled because we get events like all the time. They're not really as special as they used to be. But there we are, guys. I thought this was an interesting subject. So I just wanted to cover a little video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.